With Vultures 2 unexpectedly dropped on Saturday, I think it's now a good time to discuss about the album and get my thoughts and discussion on it. If you want to see my thoughts on the first Vultures that I discussed, I will leave in the description down below. But keep in mind, similar to Vultures 1, I will be going a little harsh on this project as I do believe this project has some major, major flaws into this album. But anyway, follow on the socials, like and subscribe. Without further ado, here's my thoughts on Vulture 2. So with this album finally released after a couple of delays, it's here. And similar to Vultures 1 being an okay project at best, I think this album at least is right about the same when it came to just the overall project. It feels unfinished and I know they, um, in social media, I think they say they're fixing up like the mixing of the project, but if we're talking when it came to dropping it, yeah, it's an okay project at best and it's okay at least. And I'm not gonna lie, there's some beats to the song that I'm actually impressed and okay with and the production of it. Like the beats of it is, I like the beats of some songs and it's just some lyrics that that some artists, specifically Kanye that he be saying, really just caught me off guard and similar to Vulture's one I'm just not really into. And if anything, they could have done better. But I ain't gonna lie, some of the songs like Fried, maybe promotion and another song in here dead maybe river some songs on the beat wise sound good it's just when it comes to kanye specifically the sh that he be saying kind of just makes me less enjoyable of the song and like i said there's songs in here specifically like river that i like and i don't mind it at all it's just most of the songs were just okay or just pure trash like as a whole um, some songs in here, such as like Husband, it was really interesting, just for some reason I like, I don't know, I don't know why, it's just something about it just kind of makes me feel like a little bit like, I don't know, just a little bit kind of likable, but other than those sort, sort of specific songs, there's some moments on this where I feel like it's like maybe I'm finished, and there's some mixing to the song that makes the song kind of ass, to be honest. Like songs like Track 15, Sky City. This song is just pure ass, I'll be honest. The end to the second beat of Sky City was just kind of ass as well, and it feels so chopped. Uh, My Soul, the last song off the album, is pretty bad also. When, Con when Kanye talks about whatever this was, and also the beat of that song was just not for me. And on top of that, songs like 530... Where Kanye is literally just mumbling and moaning into the song, which honestly I couldn't believe. But also la was laughing so hard at this, not because it was like funny or anything, but it was just caught me off guard so much that this is the person that made graduation and college dropout. I'm just surprised that he he's really <laughs> doing this. But it's funny because bro pulled a, a GID line on one of the verses on 5:30. But don't get me wrong, I don't mind like Ty Dollar Sign or anything, but Kanye just as a whole, like regarding nowadays, it's just the whole, the shit that he's saying now just kind of just makes this project sound mad and the lyrics that he be saying it kind of just not for me. And the features were somewhere okay with like Lil Wayne, Future and them, like some of the songs are good and whatnot, like with the features. But if we're talking, if anything, I think this project is like better than Vulture's one. But I, if we're talking like percent wise, then I feel like it's like one to ten points better than the first project. It definitely has some moments as well that had me just like really confused. Um, songs like Bomb, which now looking back at it is kind of messed up if you think about it. Um, with North and Chicago West talking in Japanese. It's kind of confusing, but now that I kind of put them together, I kind of realize why it's called bomb and why they call it's called why they're saying in Japanese. Yeah, that's take that and think about it. But I don't know. This just this song is just I don't know why they're talking in Japanese in the first place. But if someone could let me know, let me know. But I maybe it's the maybe it's that. But. Other than that, um, there's also a song, I think it was Fried, where I think it's I think it was him and uh, uh, Cardi, him, they're just saying the most, like, 
I don't know. I don't know what language they're speaking, but they just speaking demon. <laughs> but there's also songs again like Fried, which like it's kind of insane. It's kind of like a carnival too if you think about it. But this one's like more like crazy. But it's kind of just insane, but also confusing at the same time. But overall, I think this project is somewhat decent. But do I do I specifically count this as like album of the year? Not even the slightest. No. <laughs> it's in fact it's pretty underwhelming if anything. But anyway, um, but from what I've heard, they are gonna fix the mixing on some songs, which is good. But even still, this album just has some moments where it feels confusing and a mess. But then again, similar to Vulture's one, like I said, I feel like Kanye be saying the most random, random shit when it comes to lyrics. I mean, bro really said one of the songs, fuck you to Drake and Adidas. That's gotta tell you something. <laughs> anyway, let me know your thoughts on this album. And if y'all like this, give me a like, subscribe, do what you gotta do. And I'll see y'all next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.